I'm Kevin Muth from Mercury Marine, here today to talk to you about changing your engine oil on your six-cylinder Verado engine. Draining your engine oil is done on the port side of the engine at a plug just above your gear case. We'll want to tilt the engine up for about a minute to let any oil that's trapped inside the power head release back down into our oil sump. First step to drain your oil would be to get your oil pan underneath the plug, then take your funnel and install it over the plug area, and then lastly, remove your plug and allow your engine oil to drain into your pan. While your oil is draining, remove your top cowling so we have access to our oil filter. To remove the top cowling, we're going to lift on the rear latch, tilt the cowling forward to release the top cowl. The oil filter is located on the port side of the engine in the vertical position. To remove the filter, install your oil filter wrench and turn counterclockwise to remove the filter. Once you've removed your old oil filter, take your new oil filter and lubricate the facing seal. Take your new filter, screw it back onto the filter housing until it just touches the housing. Once your filter contacts the housing, turn it an additional three quarter to one turn to properly seat the filter. Once you have replaced the filter, check your oil pan to see if the engine is still draining its engine oil. Once the engine oil has drained completely from the engine, reinstall your drain plug. The recommended oil for your engine is a Mercury Precision Lubricants 25W40 oil. You're going to need about 7 liters or 7.4 quarts to properly fill the engine. The engine oil is filled through a yellow cap that is located at the rear top of the power head. Once you remove that yellow cap, add the proper amount of engine oil into the engine and check the oil level at the engine oil dipstick. Once you've filled your engine with the proper amount of engine oil, it's a good idea to run it for a few minutes and check for any leaks around the oil filter area. Once you shut the engine off, check your oil level again and make sure your engine oil level is somewhere within the crosshatch region of your engine oil dipstick. To reinstall the top cowling, we're going to angle it into the front hooks in the front of the cowling and then tilt the cowling back until it latches into place. Once it's latched, it's a good idea to make sure that it's sealed properly to prevent any water from entering. For more detailed information regarding these maintenance procedures, follow your Mercury Marine owner's manual or use our dealer locator at mercurymarine.com to find your local authorized dealer.